Is it recording? <sighs> okay. I'm literally just sitting on styrofoam, guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're actually starting it at 11.39 p.m. Yeah, not kind of a weird way to start a video. I'm just gonna be pretty transparent with you guys. The last couple of weeks, last months, ever since I pretty much graduated, and even before that, uh, basically, I've been noticing my content has not been where it's where I've been wanting it to be. From the title of this video, it is definitely a mod video, and it's definitely gonna be some things for my girls 135. I have so many new mods over here from a bunch of the companies I'm working with, and we have so many new things still coming out for this 135, plus new build on the way, and this one, as soon as we get it, like I told you guys, this M car that we're gonna be getting, we're gonna go straight to modification and straight to enjoying the car, so believe me on that. But before we get into all that, I wanna be pretty transparent with you guys. The last couple of weeks, I've honestly have been a little down. I haven't. I don't really know how to con I kind of explain it. Having a car, like literally having all of your cars, just give you guys problems. Like my the M5, obviously with the very bad news, completely changing all my plans for like the next two months. I have plans of wrapping the car, putting a bunch of carbon. I placed an order on some wheels on it. We got a steering wheel for it. The CIC conversion. I already have a company making me carbon fiber trim for the interior. All the plans that I had literally got canceled, postponed. And it's, it just, it really all sucks because of the news on the M5. I had so much goals for it, but I didn't want to make the same mistake twice, especially twice in a row, especially when you guys saw with the 7 Series. It literally all started with the M4, and that kind of honestly killed my mood, killed all my plans. And then it went over to the 7 Series, tried to just build that car and just try to make it perfect, and it didn't end up being the build that it was supposed to be. Then when we tried to get a 135 from the auction, I accidentally won the other 135 from the auction. Basically, he, the, he counter offered us on that 135, the N54, and then we basically was like, okay, we don't wanna, we don't wanna accept that offer, we have to go buy this one. And then basically he accepted my offer, which ruined me financially, when he accepted that offer and then we had two 135s and uh, yeah currently with that 135 it's at the shop it has a really bad coolant leak can't figure it out so we ordered a brand new water pump brand new thermostat um, we're, we're replacing all the vacuum lines and trying to figure out just how to make this car perfect it is perfect but we want to make it absolutely perfect because there are some little things with that car and uh, with me I'm just that type of person likes to make a build complete whether it's deserving of it or not but even though it was a mistake, that car with just a little bit of attention can be absolutely perfect. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and give it. And earlier today, we did take it down to Showman Motors. We did drop it off. Shout out to Andy, he took the keys, and uh, they're gonna be installing the new water pump and thermostat from FCP Euro. So huge shout out to FCP Euro for hooking it up. If you guys wanna be part of the Lifetime Warranty family, make sure to check out FCP Euro down below. Huge special shout out to them for making this happen to support me at a time that I really need the help. And then the truck, we did try to take it this morning to the mechanic shop, and then he ended up telling me, I can't take in any cars today, you're gonna to have to come in tomorrow. Obviously, you guys saw with the truck, um, it's another coolant issue, and it turned out to be a turbo cooling issue, and we took out the turbo, we tried to do it ourselves, ended up back by really bad as well. So uh, we're gonna have to take it down to the shop. I, I don't know what exactly is wrong with it. But anyhow, a lot of you guys are not coming to this channel to watch me pretty much complain, but I just wanna basically tell you guys, I haven't been having the best of luck, you guys know that, and I've just kind of been kind of down recently, and today I was like, I'm not gonna film, and yesterday I didn't even upload, but I was like, you know what? I cannot go to bed without you know being true to myself and being who I am, and I love doing YouTube videos just Recently, with all my luck, I haven't been enjoying it. I'm like, you know what? I get to make up my own luck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start doing what I love, which is honestly modifying cars. And in today's video, we're gonna be basically touching base on that. I don't know if you guys can see, but we have a brand new windshield that was installed on this car. We had it installed a couple days ago. It had a massive crack on the windshield, like literally from the from the edge to the middle. It's how we got the car originally, and uh, it was. It was probably one of the biggest imperfections on this car. We just got a brand new windshield on here from insurance. Um, well, actually, it was through insurance with their discount, but I still gotta pay. It was like an insurance discount, but like you still had to pay the like a premium. Like it was like it was. Anyway, long story short, I paid 350 bucks just to be truly transparent with you guys. 
In the next couple of videos, we have so many burger tuning modifications for this 135, my girl's 135, and she's gonna be helping me install all those modifications onto this car. But in the meantime, guys, I really wanna get a dash cam into this car. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. I literally got this dash cam off of Amazon and we're gonna be installing it. If it ends up looking pretty cool and it works and everything's pretty dope, I'll link it down below. If not, it's a shitty dash cam. I'm not gonna be linking it. But anyway, let's go ahead and do our first install on this 135. Again, we have so many modifications from literally upgrading navigation, Apple CarPlay, backup camera, full bolt-on. We have a bunch of things here already, and we have so many things on the way. My girl wants to do this as a real 1M conversion, so it's gonna be a bunch of money. But if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. I'm literally speaking so loud in the middle of the night. But thankfully, the garage is closed. And shout out to those LED lights. Those things look so dope. I'm working on adding a couple over there as well. I think this, this place is gonna be... This place is gonna look so much cooler. Oh man, that is a massive spider. Oh, buddy. I need to get a spray or something. So this is the full kit, guys. So the nice thing, it actually comes with a pretty nice pry tool, which is, you know, kind of cool. This thing actually comes with an extra USB. So I don't even have a car charger. And now this literally functions as a car charger for my phone and also for the dash cam. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just really doesn't want to focus here. There you go, big boy. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Now the true question is, does this actually come with an SD card? Uh, no. So we need we will need to put a 64 gigabyte SD card in there, or you know at least a 64 gig, maybe 128 gig. But um, yeah, doesn't seem like the best built quality, but I've heard so many good reviews about this on Amazon. It's one of the best sellers, and for $40, you know, you probably can't lose. I mean, I know this thing alone is worth 10 bucks, so uh, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Hopefully, it's not going to be too hard. I want to make this look very seamless, so we are going to be routing it through the roof, and I want it to look basically like it's built into the car. That is the goal. So that being said, I need to figure out where to put the cigarette lighter, or I might have to actually tap it in somewhere, but let's go ahead and figure out there's a cigarette lighter somewhere in the passenger side, that'd be pretty much ideal. So in some cases, I've seen people actually hardwire into the car, actually into the fuse box, which I think I did that on my M3. But as for this car, I don't really know the quality of this one. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it long term, so I really don't wanna hardwire this one into the car, but I mean, at the same time, I don't want wires literally just dangling down here. So I'm gonna route it in a way that hopefully it'll at least make it to this cigarette lighter and just look seamless like nobody can actually see there's any wires but there will be a cigarette lighter connecting right there i'm hoping this wire is long enough but uh let's go ahead and give it a try so so far guys i pretty much just connected it right there right of the wire back here um nothing too crazy doesn't look you know looks not a big deal back here i want to tuck this underneath the center console i did have it tucked all the way over here i don't know if you guys can see that but there's no wire and then it sticks out of there so i'm going to go ahead and remove that and just put it under here and try to see if i can put it I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and go ahead and remove that. And I'll show you guys pretty much how I'm gonna be routing it. And I think the wire should make it up here and literally, it would be absolutely perfect if we can get the, the dash cam somewhere over here or in the center. That'd be absolutely perfect. That's gonna be the goal. So let's just go ahead, take this off, take this off. And uh, yeah, I believe you just pop this thing off. There's gonna be a T25 back here. I'm, from my experiences with all the other E90s, I'm pretty sure. And then this thing, you pretty much just pry it off with the pry tool. And then again, just pretty much wrap that wire down here wish me luck boys So at this point, guys, I do have this door back on there. I have the wire pretty much going up here. I fed the wire behind this and it's just dangling right there. So it looks like it almost, I mean, I can't put it right here in the center, but I can put it like right over here, which is out of view of the driver, which I think is absolutely perfect. I could also probably put it somewhere over here, but the driver does want to see it. But I think right over here would be somewhere perfect, honestly. It looks like this wire literally just fits absolutely perfect with no extra, no extra cable. I mean, if you needed a little bit extra cable, instead of having the wire go out that way you could bring it around over here i just think it looks a lot more cleaner when it goes out the back i can even twist this to look like that and then bada bing bada bang you can't even see there's a wire at least from the driver's seat which I, to me i just feel like that's a super clean look so at this point i'm just going to go ahead and mount this and just see if the wire hooks up and everything works properly before actually putting this bad boy back on there and just like that guys no wires is visible whatsoever which honestly makes this setup look so 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 good so you have everything put back to where it originally is 
And again, no wires, no wires, just that one wire sticking out of the roof, which is normal. And then we have the dash cam right there. If you want to click that button, I actually might have to put in the keys right now. So put in the keys. Ah, there you go. A little bit of a delay, but um, look at that. Camera recording a camera. So we, I do need to get a little memory card in here, but I think that's a pretty good angle. It gets the whole front end of the car. And again, from this angle, you do see a wire, but let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat and see how visible this is right now. And from the driver's seat, guys, you guys can see it's barely visible, which is one of the main things. I wanna make sure this entire windshield is good to go, but if you do need to see the dash cam, it is right there. So it is in bird's eye view, like you can still see it. You can still kind of mess around with the settings. It is in the center. Her. I think this is perfect for her. I think she's gonna like this when she sees it in the morning. Again, no wires. It's just a very, very, very clean setup. It is very dirty in here, definitely. But um, now also, if she needs to plug in her phone, she has a USB port, which I think is pretty dope. And honestly, looking at the quality, it's a pretty good screen. I mean, I think I got this for like $40. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. Obviously, I haven't really used it for that long or anything like that, but it is Amazon's recommended, and uh, it, it honestly is a pretty good package, and it has the pry tools and everything included, so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and link this down below. Plus, the wire is like perfectly sized for a one series, possibly even a three series. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this down for some of you guys if you guys want this dash cam. But yeah, finally decided to install the new dash cam because we finally have the new windshield in the car, so new windshield, new dash cam. Now we can go ahead and start with the mods, which will be in the next video. So make sure to smash the like button. We have so many mods. We're going to be installing all in one video. And it should transform this engine bay and make it sound so, so, so much better. Also, guys, uh, what is the other thing? Um, Yes, we do need to drop off the truck. So it is officially 1 a.m. So I do have to drop off the truck around 7 to 8 a.m. at the shop. So I'll go ahead, uh, just wipe my face, go to sleep. See you guys in about six to seven hours. And possibly get you guys my girl's reaction on this dash cam. Love you guys so much good night i'll see y'all tomorrow morning and good morning guys uh my eyes are a little bit squinting but it's all great in the navy it's going to get this truck down to the shop and also i actually found something i found a 64 gigabyte sandisk uh micro sd which is perfect for the camera in my girl's car so let's go ahead and install this bad boy which just I mean, it's not really an install you just pretty much plug it in and then after that let's head down and drop off the truck Actually, before we actually head out, we do have the micro SD cards. Let's go ahead and just put that in there. And it looks like we are good to go. Hey guys, it looks like we are good to go. Let's head out. Just got here to Paul's shop, guys. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully we get this truck dropped off. Just got the papers from Paul. So he ended up telling me that the leak could possibly be because the hose is not all the way in. So he's gonna go ahead and check that. He's gonna do a full pressure test on the whole cooling system. And he's gonna let me know if there's any other cooling links. And he said he's gonna get back to me later today. So that's why he told me to bring it in super early. So anywho, I'm gonna get back home and edit this video for you guys. And hopefully in the next video, you're gonna be doing a bunch of burger tuning stuff or some Keys Motorsport stuff to the 135. So stay tuned. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth